Howdy folks, it's Donald Warren McCarthy here with Keller Williams Realty, bringing you your update for the Junction Triangle in April of 2020, um, just at the start of this uh, pandemic. Uh, interesting results actually for, for the Junction Triangle. So you probably just saw my video on what's happening in the GTA as a whole, 67% down in terms of uh, volume of sales. Um, 64% down in terms of new listings, uh, but however, prices holding their own, uh, pretty much just flatlined from a year over year perspective, um, uh, simply because we had a supply problem going into this. We still have a supply problem during this and we will have it on the other end likely as well too. Um, so anyways, let's dig into Junction Triangle. Um, there were three sales. Uh, in Junction Triangle, and uh, actually surprisingly good, solid numbers um, uh, for, for, for Junction Triangle. I, I don't uh, uh, agree that uh, Junction Triangle, you could argue that the prices have started dropping or falling from the sky. Uh, so my usual, uh, what was the cheapest, what was the most expensive rent? Uh, 284 Symington was the cheapest, uh, listed at 1.298 in 14 days and two weeks, so DOM is days on market. Uh, sold for 2% below asking at 1.270. Um, so I believe that is a good result uh, for a two-story, albeit narrow, um, row house on Symington. I think that was a good result. Um, and where we are seeing good results actually with uh, sellers and buyers, is look, particularly with sellers, is look, as long as you don't have a gun to your head, okay, and you're under pressure, whatever financial pressure, maybe whatever's going on, as long as you don't have a gun to your head and you can be sensible and make a sensible decision on an offer that comes in front of you, um, then you're going to do okay in this market. Uh, this was the middle sale, 272 Perth. That wasn't actually the most expensive, uh, but you'll be able to download it if you want to look at it. The most expensive was at 50 Perth, one of the new um, townhomes, three-story. Uh, that one was listed at 1,450,000 and in 11 days it sold for 4% below asking at 1.39, $1,390,000. So that was the most expensive home sale um, in the Junction Triangle. So three sales in total there. Let's dig into, um, so as you know, we do a six month aggregate view of sales in the Junction Triangle with the different house types, detached, semi, townhomes, triplex, etc., etc. Now, what we're going to be watching over the next, let's say, six months as we are still in this pandemic period is how this average list to sale ratio comes down. So you can see last month from October 1st to March 31st, it was at 106. This year's at, or this month it's at 105. Uh, so as uh, agents are adop adopting the more traditional sales style of listing high, selling with a room of nego negotiation, selling a little bit below the asking price, I would expect this to drop down maybe on just under uh, 100%, uh, maybe 98, 99, 95. Uh, remains to be seen, but that's a figure we'll be watching uh, because as, as we can see here, this is November, December, January, February, March results are still in this uh, table, uh, which is of course when we saw very, very strong rapid growth, multiple offer uh, environment. So we'll be watching that for sure. And obviously how many sell, uh, we're expecting obviously this tight supply and drop in volume happening. Uh, so there you have it folks. That's your Junction Triangle update for Toronto, uh, or for, uh, that's your Junction Triangle update uh, for April uh, 2020. Uh, do stay safe. We are able to transact, uh, sell homes, buy homes. Uh, we just have a lot of precautions in place. So people who do need to move, we can help you. Okay, do reach out to us if you need anything. Ciao, ciao.